What's up guys, Adam here and welcome back to another AC Milan career mode. Today we're going to be having three big games in this episode. One coming up against Inter in the Derby di Milano. We're coming up against Napoli in an away match in the Serie A. And then we are taking on Zenit, which we need a victory because we're currently sitting with five points. And the top two teams have seven points each. We need victories. We need to beat Zenit. And then when we play against Villarreal, we need to beat them as well. So if we want any hope to get into the knockout stages after winning the Champions league twice in the past two seasons then we need to win those next two games but nevertheless let's get into it we're taking on inter who don't seem to be in the top six of the, six of the table they're in 16th place they are in 16th place inter 10 games played one victory four draws five losses seven goals for 12 again so they're gonna be uh i guess an easy opponent don't know what happened maybe they lost out on other players but we need to get in there and pick up a victory. So we're going to be going with the 4-3-3 formation for this match because Belotti and Lukaku cannot pair each other up because they're both pretty tired, so they're going to have to rotate. Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, De Cilio, Verazzi, Bazuer, Kovacic, Suso, Lukaku, and El Sharawi. Do not know what's been going on with Inter. I have literally no idea. Did they lose all of their players that they've only managed to pick up one victory or did all their players just get old? Or something because Inter don't seem to be doing at all too well. They still do have Medel. They still have Handanovic right there. So I don't, I really don't know what the problem is. We'll just have to wait and see. Maybe they play completely different. I can see they still have Perisic. And uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see exactly who they have. But they're not doing at all well. Come on, Verazzi, get to that one. Nicely done, Verazzi. Give this to Verazzi. Marco Verazzi. Where is Suzo? Now it's Suzo coming forward, finally. Let's try to get it onto his left foot and send it across to Lukaku. That's a great cross in. Lukaku with a header. Finally getting to those headers. Great cross in by Suzo, who does not have an assist yet in this season. Um, pretty disappointed by his performance. Bazoer is there, Bazoer. Yeah, Suzo hasn't had a goal yet and has not had an assist yet, but... He's going to continue getting game time because he's very tricky on the right-hand side. You guys really know I like him and he can do special things. But I'm going to look to maybe get him an assist soon. João Mario. Inter still play the same annoying game that they've been playing in the past four seasons. All they do is just run. <laughs> All they do is just sprint upfield and try to get the ball in. Bazuera is going to get a great clearance there. But it goes to Ranocchia. Ranocchia. El Sharawi with a great block. And Romagnoli is there to pick up the pieces. Here is Verratti. Marco Verratti. Keep taking this one forward. Do we have something? Do we have something into Suzo? Suzo. That's a bad pass. But Suzo is going to pick this one back up. Suzo into Lukaku. Lukaku. Can you get to that one? What are you doing, guys? What are you doing? Here's Davide Santon. That's a good pass into Perisic. He's free. He's free. Rugani. Get there. Okay. Nobody felt like getting on that one. Nobody felt like actually getting on Perisic right there. <laughs> I tried to switch players so many times. It didn't do anything. Donnarumma has got that one. Shraoui. Lukaku. Kovacic. Verratti. Verratti. Nicely done to Bazoer. Bazoer. Suzo. Suzo is on side. Okay. Let's get this up to Richelli Bazoer. Richelli Bazoer. Hold it. Shield it. Into Calabria. Calabria to Suzo. Nicely done. Suzo. Finesh shot. Suzo. Like I said before, I wanted him to get a goal or an assist. And he comes up clutch with a great goal in the 40th minute. Bazoer doing very, very well to shield that one on the wing. Into Calabria. A great little pass to Suzo. Suzo, look at the curl on that one. Right past Samir Andanovic. And that's going to be Suzo's first goal all season. 41st minute. It's 1-0. Jean Mario. Jean Mario. Rugani. Nicely done. Daniele Rugani. Kovacic. Do we have a bit of time left? I think we do. De Chilio. De Chilio over the top for El Shadawi and Davide Santon. Having a good game. Having a really good game. He hasn't let anybody get through. And there he is with another challenge. I don't know what the hell is going on with Davide Santon. He's never this good ever in his whole career. And for some reason today he's been the best player on the pitch. Here is Davide Santon once again. He's everywhere on the pitch. He is absolutely everywhere. De Chilio gets that one away. That's going to be the end of the first half. Goal scored by Suso in the 41st minute. And we've taken the lead 1-0. Verratti is going to be making way for Jose Mauri because he's a little bit tired. And I want to give Mauri some game time. Mauri. Good ball to Bazoer. Bazoer Calabria. Calabria. 
Suzo taking this one forward. Suzo, let's play this one in. Lukaku's there. Lukaku! Come on, Lukaku. Come on, Lukaku. Belotti would have finished that 100% of the time. Lukaku heads that one wide. All right, Suzo's going to be coming off. On comes Marco Colombo. And uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Marco Colombo has 99 long shots. 99. I haven't, I literally have not trained his long shots in such a while. He has great stats. It's just those work rates kill him. Nice. El Shadawi to Kovacic. Kovacic, Lukaku, Lukaku to Colombo. Colombo, no, that's Calabria. Now it's Colombo. Colombo takes... Oh, I can't score with him. Every time I bring him on, I cannot score with him. How unlucky is he going to get? He hits that one off the post. Is the referee going to blow the full-time whistle? Yes, he will. 1-0. Goal scored by Suzo. Lukaku just... He doesn't feel like scoring whenever I play with him in the Serie A. He only feels like scoring during simulated matches. We pick up three points here. And our next game is coming up against Napoli. Now, Napoli are in second place. So, they're going to be a great team. And last season, I think we drew and lost to them or something like that. They have 29 points after 11 matches. Let's get into it. Going with the 4-4-2. Donnarumma, Calabria, Rugani, Romagnoli, Rodriguez, Suzo, Verazzi, Mauri. Because he asked me to play and he's been in good form. El Sherawi, Belotti and Lukaku. There's Lorenzo Insigne and he's going to be a player to watch. He's the player that I have the most trouble trying to contain because he's so quick. He's so agile. He's so small that he just... Gets around my defenders with ease. We're going to look to stop them. Belotti back in the lineup after not playing in the derby. Verratti, come on. You got to do pe better passing than that. Let's try to get that one to Suzo. We're just playing really stupidly right now. Here is Mauri. Mauri to Belotti. Belotti into Lukaku. Lukaku back into Belotti. Belotti is there, but Rodriguez. El Shirawi into Rodriguez. Rodriguez up forward to El Shirawi. El Shirawi, good touch. To Jose Mauri. Mauri, can we get Suzo all the way down there? That's a great ball here. Suzo, Suzo, let's cut back into... No, that was for somebody else. Okay, it's Suzo. Suzo's there. Great save, Verratti. Head this one down to Belotti. No, 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 no. We had the goal-scoring opportunity there. We wasted it. Insigne on the wing. Insigne, watch Insigne. He's just running. Watch Insigne. Nice block by Rugani, but he magically gets the ball back. And Villa on the ball, and Villa probably going to try and take a shot. He passes that one in. It blasts off the bar. Rugani cleared this one away. Diawara. Diawara. Great shot. Donnarumma has got that one. Let's kick this one all the way to Lukaku. He's going to head that one down to Belotti. Belotti try to give this back over the top to Lukaku. That's going to be a great touch. Lukaku is through on goal with his 99 strength. Into Belotti. Great pass. He saw the pass, and Lukaku finally using his strength to his advantage. And Andrea Belotti is going to be getting that goal. I honestly wanted to take a shot, but I saw three defenders trying to close down Lukaku. And I decided to give it to Andrea Belotti, who's going to be putting in his seventh goal this season. Um, I want him to start scoring a lot more, even Lukaku, but that's a great pass there. And it's Andrea Belotti, the goal scorer. Seven goal, 38 minutes, 1-0. Suzo back on the ball to Mauri. Belotti, Belotti into Lukaku, can Lukaku go for a finish, Romelu Lukaku, and now it's Belotti returning the favor, great ball into Lukaku, uh, I told him to take a finesse shot, that is a great pass, was it a finesse shot with his right foot, yes it was, a little bit risky from the big man, but there's his fourth goal of the season, ah, okay, I hope he starts scoring more, I hope he starts scoring more, he could be frustrating at times, but then he could do things like that, fourth goal for him, First goal I've scored with him in the Serie A. The rest of the goals have been simulated. And here comes Napoli on the attack. Here's Fekir into Fred. Davide Calabria. Great challenge. But Envia gets back the ball. Rodriguez. Can he clear this one away? Rugani gets that one. Just clear that one out. Help out Donnarumma who's been saving us past couple of games. Belotti. Get to that one. Okay. Nicely done. Mauri. Mauri. Oh no. That's a bad pass. That's a bad pass. Mauri. Come on. Do not do that to me. Here's Saj. Here's Saj. Lukaku. Get on Coates. El Shadawi, who literally has not been mentioned not too many times in this match. 2-0, goal scored by the two strikers, Lukaku and Belotti. Suzo is going to be coming off for El Gazzi because I want Suzo ready for the next match. I'm also going to be taking off Lukaku and uh, dropping the player that I'm going to be coming, that's going to be coming on deeper and bringing on Felgo. 
El Shadow is coming off and Bonaventura is coming on. I'm also going to be taking off Rugani and bringing on... Okay, I can't bring on anybody else. I've already made three substitutions. Ogati to Felgo. Nicely done, Felgo. All the way over to Jack Bonaventura. Good touch to Bonaventura. Bonaventura into Belotti. Belotti's there for a second. I could have taken it with Bonaventura, but I want to add to Belotti's goal tally. That's number eight. It's 3-0. Game over. Great ball. Who was that that gave the first ball? I think that might have been Felgo who gave that ball over to Bonaventura. And in the 81st minute, eighth goal for Belotti. Lukaku and Belotti getting on the score sheets. 3-0. Game's in the bag. Nice, Verratti. Verratti to Elgazzi. Elgazzi, can he push this one forward? Can he push this one forward into nobody? Of course, they read everything. I want to score a fourth. I want to score a fourth. No, that's not going to be the case. 3-0 victory. Lukaku and Belotti, the goal scorers. Now we need a victory in this game coming up against Zenit. So the good thing about today's match is that if I could pick up a victory here against Zenit... And Olympiacos and Villarreal, there can only be one winner. If there's a draw, then it's even better for me. Because with a victory, we're going to be all tied with 8 points if they pick up a draw. But if one of them wins and then uh, we play... Let's say, I hope Villarreal can lose in this match. Because then, if we could beat Zenit and then Villarreal, we're going to be in a good position. But we need a victory here before anything. Let's get into it. Now, the reason I haven't been playing Memphis Depay in the past couple of games is because you guys know that he's been a little unsettled and uh, he's a little bit homesick. But I'm going to be giving him the start here over El Shirawi. And I'm also going to be swapping Calabria with Zabacosta because... Calabria is getting tired and also De Chilio, who's been playing very, very well, is going to be playing in front of Rodriguez. So with those changes, it's going to be Donnarumma, Zabagosta, Rugani, Romagnoli, De Chilio, Suso Verratti, Schnerlin playing for the first time in a long time. I need a little bit of physicality in the midfield. Depay, Belotti and Lukaku. We're playing in the snow. I have no idea if that's going to affect this game. And um, our only victory was against Zenit. Our only victory was against Zenit. So I'm hoping for the exact same thing here. If Lukaku and Belotti can do what they did in the last match against Napoli and bring it into this game, then we're set. If they don't feel like showing up, then we're going to have a tough time. No, oh, come on, come on, come on. It's things like that. It's things like that. It's things like that. It's things like that where you tackle the guy and he manages to get the ball back is why... This game is a joke. That is why this game is a joke. Look at this. Romagnoli, a clean challenge. It hits off Schneiderlin. It hits off Schneiderlin. He magically gets the ball back. And they score. It's 1-0. Javi Garcia scores. Lotti, Lukaku. Lukaku. Lukaku, Verratti. Good ball to Marco Verratti. Verratti, the pie, the pie. I see you there, Belotti. I saw Belotti. Why? Like, what was that? That's not at all what I did. But it's all right. We've got a corner. I hope it's all right. Let's whip this one in. Belotti. That one was going in. Great clearance by the defender, De Chilio. Down to Romagnoli. Romagnoli. Lukaku, Lukaku. To Zabagosta, Zabagosta. The pie, the pie. Belotti, Belotti. Trying to give that one back into the pie. We need a goal before halftime. We need a victory here and a goal before halftime. Suzo to Zabacosta. Zabacosta in to the middle. Lukaku. What a save. What a save. What a save. What a save. I do that. Okay, Suzo. Doesn't matter. Into the middle. Belotti's coming forward. Ref, is that going to be another corner? No, that's going to be a goal kick. Romagnoli down to Lukaku. Lukaku up forward to Depay. Memphis. Memphis, ref, okay, Memphis, he's got this, come on, Memphis, come on, Memphis, come on, thank you very much, Memphis, you've scored from this position before, you have scored from this position before, I need this goal, I need this goal 100%, not Suzo, I know Suzo's pretty good at free kicks, but Memphis, 96 accuracy, Memphis, over the wall, Memphis, Memphis the pie! Oh my god, yes! He's back into the lineup after being unsettled. And that is what I like to see. Memphis, the confidence on him. The confidence to take that one after being out of the lineup for so long. And that is the goal we needed. Come on, Memphis. You want to stay here at Milan. Stop being unsettled. You want to stay here. First goal for him in the Champions League. It's drawn level at 1-1. That was the goal we needed. End of the first half. Goal scored by Memphis. Let's get into the second half. Verratti, Suzo, Suzo, Belotti, Belotti, Lukaku, Lukaku, Schneiderlin, he's got the space, Schneiderlin, Memphis, 
Memphis forward. Great ball to Memphis. Here is Memphis. Can he? Okay, Lukaku. Lukaku gets taken down. Referee, that's going to be a penalty. Thank you very much. Memphis doing the work to get into the box. And Lukaku getting taken down by the captain, Neto. And he's going to be receiving a yellow card. That is crucial for us. We need to score this penalty. Who is our best penalty taker? It's between Belotti and Lukaku. I have more confidence in Belotti, even though he's missed a few. Belotti, please, please, Belotti, please, Belotti. Ah, Lukaku got the penalty after being slid and taken down. And Andrea Belotti is going to be scoring that goal. That is a goal we need. We need. We need. Ah, Memphis coming into this game and doing a lot. Uh, I know he's replacing El Shadawi, who you guys know I love. He's not going to be replacing El Shadawi, but he's a little bit unsettled. And hopefully this match makes him a little more settled. Fourth goal for Andrea Belotti in the Champions League. 12 goals in all competitions. Well, in the Serie A and in the Champions League. And it's 2-1. We need to hold on to this lead or try and add to it. Great cross in. Romagnoli is there. Schnerlin up to Suzo. Suzo. Push this one. Suzo to Belotti. Belotti. Come on, Belotti. Shield it to Zabagosta. Zabagosta. Belotti. Belotti. Great ball into Suzo. Suzo. Get it on your left foot. Nicely done. Suzo. Suzo. Finesse shot. Suzo. It's 3-1. That's his second goal in this episode, Suzo. Yes, that's what I like to see from you. Everybody is working well today. It started off a little bit shaky in the first half after that goal, but we just turned the switch on. Suzo is going to be scoring his first goal in the Champions League 3-1. Thank you, guys. Thank you for actually wanting to show up and getting through into the Champions League. Here's Zuba, Rugani, get there. Schneiderlin, okay, no. Schneiderlin slid for the ball. Okay, that's not my fault. That is not my fault. That happened by itself. I jumped for it, then he tried. You know when you slide for the ball. Okay, Donnarumma has to come up big. Here's Giuliano. Two penalties in this game. Felgo is coming on. Giuliano, bottom right, bottom right. He, ch okay, he chips. Why, why would he try that? Why would he try that? Why would he try that? He just screwed himself. He just screwed himself. Chips the penalty, hits off the post, so lucky, so lucky. The penalty shouldn't have happened because it was the game's fault. Giuliano into the middle, Donnarumma, good save, Zuba. How, does the, how do those goals even go in? 3-2, come on guys, come on guys. Game's not over, game is not over. I honestly, Donnarumma made the save and Zuba just came out of nowhere. Scores a goal, it's 3-2. Falgo. Can he head that one down to Lukaku? Yes, he can. Lukaku, get there. That's going to be a pass back. Okay, so he can't grab it. He's going to send that forward. Here's Merkulov, and there it is. There's the victory we needed. Okay, all right. All right, now we need to see what happened between Valencia and Olympiacos, and then we have a game against Valencia in the next episode where it'll decide if we go into the knockout stages or not. 3-2, goal scored by Zapai. Suzo and Andrea Belotti and three points. Okay, there's our group. I wanted a Villarreal loss, but if we could pick up a victory against Villarreal next time, which is what I want, which is what I need, then we will be sitting with 11 points. They'll be sitting in second. Depending what Olympiacos does, I don't know, but we need the victory. So we have a bunch of players whose contracts are expiring at the end of the year. So I'm going to be giving Valerio Colombo three years, 650 per week for a future first team player. He's on loan. Ricardo Rodriguez, two additional years, 160k per week and a crucial first team player. Mateo Kovacic as well, two years, 160k and a crucial first team player. Memphis Depay, I know he's unsettled and uh, he's probably either going to accept the contract or not accept it, but two years, 160k per week and an important first team player. Nicolas Santoro, three years, 650 per week, future first team player. Jack Bonaventura, who's starting to decrease, but he's still going to be a good player. One additional year, 120k per week, important first team player. Andrea Lombardi, three years, 650 per week, and a future first team player. Eduardo Rossi, three years, 650 per week, future first team player. Davide Zabagosta, two additional years, 80k per week, and an important first team player. And finally, Mattia De Chilio, two years, 80k per week, and an important first team player. Everybody else's contracts are expiring in a few years so the rest of these players hopefully they'll all accept them 
Maybe some of the youth players might want a bigger squad role, but I'm going to have to negotiate with them. But for right now, I'm going to leave it like this. That is how this episode is going to be ending. We're in second place in the Champions League group. We're in first place in the Serie A by five points. And next game, we're coming up against Roma. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. And I will see you next time. Do it! Do what? Just do it! Okay, do what? Do it! Subscribe to my channel! But I already am subscribed. Oh. So subscribe to my second channel. And also, follow me on Twitter at TheNobsYT. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just... Do it! But I can. Yes, you can! Oh, okay. Do it!